Hi, wanted to do a quick video on hot water. How, how to do hot water in an off-grid setting. And I think I have a, a neat idea that I'm trying to roll out. So what I'm gonna do here is I have six 450 watt bifacial solar panels. And what I'm gonna do with those is I, I bought at an auction lot some direct berry uh, eight gauge wire. Uh, it's a it's a four it's basically a it's a four three strand eight gauge uh, design flexible designed for direct berry. So pick that up for like twenty bucks, dirt cheap. So I'm actually going to run that even though I don't need anything that beefy. But I'm going to go ahead and run it in this trench. So I have this trench down here, and <clears throat> I'm going to run it down here into the house, and I'm going to run it directly into my water tank. And I'm going to use a standard water tank. But I have an idea here. And the problem that you're going to face with a standard water tank using a DC application is that normally when you're wiring a water tank, you're going to wire right into that thermostat on the side. Now, thermostats, you know, it's going to handle the normal 220 volts AC. The problem is DC and AC are not the same. And if you try running a DC voltage, the same rating as AC, you're gonna fry your thermostat pretty quick, a couple months. The reason for that is DC likes to arc. And it likes to arc because you have a constant current, whereas, or a constant voltage, whereas your AC, it oscillates, you know, between zero, 120 times a second at 60 Hertz. So the rule of thumb is generally a 10 to one. So you can run 10, times more AC voltage than DC voltage for a specific type of ther uh, you know, thermostat or something that switches. So I can't run the voltage that goes into the resistance heating element through a thermostat on a conventional water tank. And there's solutions out there, but they're crazy expensive. So I came up with a slick idea, and I want to explain this really quick because I think it's something that's pretty neat that'll work. A standard relay is cheap. You know, a, a $10 relay is all you need to switch like, you know, 200 volts, you know, 20 amps, 250 volts, whatever it happens to be. Um, so it's fairly inexpensive to do something like that. So what you do is you run your line voltage, voltage your actual resistance load on the load side of a standard trans, um, uh, relay. Well, the question is, what do you use for your control side and how do you wire up the thermostat? Well, I, I kind of had a slick idea here. You could just plug in something into the wall circuit that runs, you know, you know, let's say 12 volts DC and just run it right in through your existing thermostat. But I even have a slicker idea than that. When you're off grid, you're going to be throwing away wattage by plugging into the wall. There's always going to be losses for, from efficiency issues. Well, here's another solution. So I'm going to go ahead and mount a 100 watt 12 volt panel on this. And that's going to be my thermostat and my input control source for that relay. It works out perfect. Don't have to worry about inverted power. It's a minimal cost to wire. You could run 18, 18 gauge, whatever you happen to have. It's, it's, it's cheap, cheap to wire something like that. Take that 100 watt panel, 12 volt wire right into your thermostat on the side of your water tank. And then when the thermostat you know, goes on off, it's, it's gonna control the control side of your relay. I don't see a downside to that. So the total cost is gonna be the cost for your solar panel, which is like 20 bucks. You know, it's not 100, you know, 50, 100 watt panels are really cheap. And the cost for your upgrades for your water tank is 10 bucks for relay. You know, maybe some mounting hardware or probably need an old CPU cooler that you could pick up used pretty cheap, you know, five bucks. So we'll see how that works, but I, I don't see a downside to this because whenever the current's available for resistance heating, current's also going to be available for your control input because it's dependent on the sun. So it's just an experiment. Want to see if it works. Uh, might be a good idea. Thought I'd just share that idea with you. You have a good one.